So today we're looking at the 2020 Corolla LE. Uh, from what I've seen so far, it's a pretty decent car. Drives pretty well. For today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys some of the things that I like and dislike about it. Doing a quick rundown of the vehicle, and I'm hopefully get a small test drive in there for you all. All right, so we're gonna start off looking under the hood. Um, this car has a um, four cylinder. It gives out about maybe 140 horsepower. That's not the most, but it does pretty good. I'm gonna give you guys a quick look. That's different. All right, so as you see, you have a basic um, Toyota four-cylinder. Um, like I said, put out about 140, 150 horsepower. Um, nice, clean setup. If you're looking for performance, speed, and all that stuff, um, this may not be the setup for you, but if you're looking for something that's really good on gas that can definitely get you where you need to go, this motor is very reliable. This motor, um, and it's amazing on gas. If I'm not mistaken, it'll give you anywhere between 28 to 30 MPG if you're inside the city and around 38 if you're on the highway. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go around to the back. I wanna real quickly show you guys the trunk space that it has. Compared to the Corollas of earlier years, there's a lot of trunk space in this car. If you look down, I hope the lighting is good enough for y'all to see. There's a lot of space I can reach. My hand all the way in there and about half of my body is almost in the trunk. So there's a decent amount of space if you um if you need to carry something. If you like men, you like to add subwoofers or whatnot to your car, you can definitely put a couple of twelves in here. Decent amount of space for all your groceries along with those speakers. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys inside of the car. And we're gonna do a quick review of the interior. All right, so now that we're in the car, the first thing that I wanna start off with is the gauges. The gauge cluster is nice, simple. You have your RPM on the left, your speed in the middle, as well as your um, how much gas you have left in the middle. What I like the most is this little is this little section right here. You kind of see them on a lot of cars now. It tells me um, how much distance I have left with the current amount of gas that I have. It tells me my current gas mileage as well as the time and temperature. I can use this button right here to kind of shift through what it does. Tells me my distance to empty, how many miles per hour I'm, per, I'm currently traveling, and all that good stuff. Um, like most cars, you can change the settings for the vehicle up here, um, whether it's lane departure, or lane um, assist, and all that good stuff. But I'm not really going to get into that for this video because um, being that it's a Corolla, this is for the most part um, a basic feature in most cars today. The next thing is the um, is the media screen, the head unit. Um, as you see, it's pretty big. You can see it really well. It's real easy to navigate as far as audio setup, functions, and all that stuff. Um, really simple design. If you get this car, just spend a little few. If you get this car, just spend about maybe two to five minutes before you take off, kind of trying to figure this out, and um, and you'll be just fine. When you look at the gear shifter, the only thing that I noticed that was different about this car is that the parking brake is right here. It automatically goes into the into effect when the car is in park. Also, you have the regular park reverse neutral drive options, but you also have a B. And I didn't know it until um, recently, but that B stands for braking, not boost. Typically, you have an overdrive or something that causes your car to go faster, such as a sport mode right here. But with this um, B, the but what this mode does is actually for braking. It's for braking when you're going down hills. So um, if you're driving and you want a little bit extra speed, never actually put it in B because that B is not for boost. It's for braking. Outside of the main features for the car, just looking at the interior, um, it's basic cloth interior, but it feels it feels extremely nice. Has a nice pattern on it. You can also see that the car is um, spacious for the most part. It's a Toyota Corolla. So if you compare this Corolla to the Corollas of the early 2000s, this car has a lot more room. Um, I don't know if you guys can see with the, with the current lighting, but there's a lot of leg room. There's a lot of space for you to, to um, lean your chair back. If you are pretty big like me and you're leaning your chair back, 
um, someone who's my size won't be able to sit behind you, but you can definitely fit kids. You have your cup holder that folds down, and if you lift it up, you have an extra, extra seat for a small person or a child. The sound system in here is pretty decent. Um, the bass isn't all that loud. The volume isn't the highest you're going to get in the market. Um, if you're comparing it to like a Bose system or something that you would see in like a Cadillac or a Lexus, it's not going to be that. But this system is a good system. Um, it's very clear. Um, the surround sound on it is, is pretty good. Um, if, if you're just a basic driver looking to do basic things, um, it's a pretty good system for you. If you are into bass like me and you like subwoofers and all that stuff, you may need to do a few upgrades. But all in all, I mean, the interior is pretty good. When you're comparing to other cars in a similar um, price range, as far as the interior goes, I would probably give this car maybe a 9 out of 10. It's a, it's a pretty good car as far as the interior goes. But um, if you're comparing it to um, other cars, such as BMW's higher-up cars, of course, it isn't going to be as good. It's not going to be as great. So overall, I would give the interior maybe a 7 or an 8 out of 10 just because it's slightly roomy, um, slightly comfortable, but you are limited as to what you can do. Some of the downfalls for the interior um, are the lack of heated seats. Also, they have the old school, um, I can't even, can't even pull it right now. They have the old school um, levers on the seats. So if you want to push, push your seats back or forward, it's not automatic. You actually have to press the lever in and scoot if you know what I'm talking about. I don't know if you guys can um, actually see that lever right there. This lever right here, but it's the old school lever that you pull up to pull the seat forward. Um, outside of that, the only thing that I would like to have in this car, like I said, I do understand that it's not going to be the top of the line car, but I would like to have heated seats. This car does not have that, um, so I can definitely see that being a problem. Some people may look for that, but outside of that, like I said, the um, interior of this car is pretty decent. I'm about to do some driving in a few minutes, but before I do that, I want to show you guys the backup camera and how it looks. All right, so we got a nice big monitor here. I'm going to put it in reverse. As you can see, it does it does have a line that shows you exactly where your car is going to be backing up to, but it does not have the yellow guidelines that a lot of um, review cameras have. They kind of anticipate that where you're going to be going based off where your wheel is turned. Um, if you've seen it in the past on some of my videos, it'll have like yellow lines that come here or here, and they move as you're turning. But just so you guys can get a quick look of how it looks in the camera, the picture's not too bad. Make sure nobody's coming. Picture's not too bad. But you do not have those guidelines showing you where the car is going to be going. You only have the blue line. Excuse my backing up skills. I'm trying to hold the camera back up and look at the same time and know the directions. But yeah, for the most part, that's the camera. I don't know if you guys can see it right now, but the quality isn't too shabby. Um you can definitely see what's back there. I have seen better, I have seen worse. So this is decent. Um, but before I give you guys my overall opinion on the car itself and the rating of the car, I do wanna go ahead and get this test drive out of the way so I can give you guys a more, um, a more accurate depiction. Do keep in mind that I have been driving this car all week, so in my mind, I kind of already know, but I do want you guys to kind of see um, at least a little bit of what I've been experiencing with this car. All right, now I'm taking off, just testing the brakes. The brakes in here, um, the stock brakes are really great. Of course, you can always upgrade brakes, but these here are stock and they are pretty good, as you can see. Well, you may not be able to feel it, but I can definitely feel it. Um, the reason that I'm recording, um, even even though I'm on this small road going kind of slow right now, is because I'm about to get onto a major um, a major highway with a lot of traffic possibly. And I want you guys to see how this car is um, when it's accelerator. You know, just day-to-day -day normal activities. So let's see here. Like I said, this is not the huge All right, luckily that call didn't um, get in the way of what I was trying to do. 
could have already went though. But as you see, this road is rather packed and I gotta get out of here kind of quickly. So the camera might be a little shaky, but I want you guys to see and hear how the acceleration goes. Here's my moment. And this is pedal to the floor. So with the pedal to the floor, I'm not getting all that far. As you guys see, the acceleration is kind of slow in here. But like I said, this is a great car. You're, um, you're giving up that trade off on power for um, more miles per gallon, um, a cheaper vehicle and all that good stuff. All right, so I'm gonna end the video on at least this section of the video right here because I do not want to get pulled over and I'll, um, I'll get with you guys in a bit. All right, so while I'm riding through the town, I guess I'll go ahead and give you guys my personal um, opinion and writing on the video. Um, if you're looking at like smaller cars, um, small Hondas, Honda Civics, um, Corollas and things like that, um, compared to the past and the cars that are available in that class right now, um, I'll probably give this car maybe, maybe to be honest, about an eight or nine out of ten. Um, it's not the top notch of um, you know cars. It's not a BMW. It's not a Mercedes. But it's a well built car. It runs nice. It's really great on gas. You are trading that gas mileage off for a bit of power, but the car is still a really great car. It's kind of roomy if you have a family, a small family, or anything like that. Um, if you need to go on a road trip, I can definitely see this car being um, pretty decent. There is a bit of a arm space issue right here, but I mean, that's not too much of an issue unless you have a lot of bigger people in the car at the same time. All in all, it's, it's, like I said, it's a pretty good car. If you're not trying to go 200 miles per hour, if you're not trying to race, if you just need to get back and forth to work, moving your family around or something like this, or something like that um this is really a great car and i would definitely recommend it um if you haven't already tell if you couldn't already tell if you couldn't already tell this car is um if you couldn't already tell by all the no smoking signs this car is a rental um it's definitely one that i would get again in the future it's definitely one that i would get it again in the future for the um for the reasons that i just mentioned um, if you're purchasing it for a personal vehicle, I could definitely understand. If I had a smaller family, I, I would probably either get this or a slightly faster, um, what is it called? What is it called? The one above it. I would probably get a slightly faster Camry. <laughs> My fault, y'all, I'm watching the road. But out, outside of that, I mean, like I said, everything all in all is okay. Um, I may get a little bit more footage of me driving it later on and put it up here But if I don't see anything that just stands out, I'm probably just going to end the video with this guys And with that being said, thanks for watching the video Make sure you subscribe hit the like button and visit us again for some more videos soon. Have a great day Just a little side note while I'm doing this video um, Just because y'all see me doing all this stuff do keep in mind. I never forget where I'm from um, and the places that are similar to where I'm from and the places that, are, that have helped me out. Um, right now, I'm about to ride through the projects. The projects where my auntie stays and um, just see a couple of people, go speak to them right quick before I get ready to make a couple of other moves. And I, I just want, I'm just gonna keep the camera up and I want y'all to see that, like I said, I'm not from here, but even, even if you're from, these projects are anywhere similar you can definitely make it out go on and do other things and I know plenty of people who have done it and if you're from here and you need to see this you can do it too I know I know a lot of people if you like in New York and stuff you used to seeing the real the real big like high projects with a bunch of buildings stacked on each other but now nah, here in the country we have countries we have here in the country we have projects too but a little bit different a lot less people a little bit more spaced out but i mean it's still the same bullshit it's crazy coming back through here like i said i'm not from here personally but i got people here um this building right here my brother actually my brother used to stay right there <laughs> it's crazy crazy how time go by man 
ain't gonna put the votes on the camera right here because I already, already know what the deal is with that. Country projects, y'all. And if you're from the country, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Exactly. Like I said, um, yeah, at this point, I'm, I'm definitely about to end the video. I'm just about to link up with a couple of my people and my auntie and all that good stuff. Speak to them right quick. And I see y'all guys on the other side. We got a bunch of new videos coming soon. Make sure you check out the channel. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you subscribe to Lord of the Range. And if you're at work and you need clean music for your job, make sure you check out Clean by Mountain Studios. We got all the good stuff for y'all. Check us out soon.